Oh, who am I? <laughs> you know, I'm asking myself that every day. One, I love learning, and I've had some amazing professors that I really, really, really love. And, you know, being able to, the contrast of being in prison, it's like sitting in this class where, like, I'm having one of the, some of the most intellectual conversations of my life, and I'm talking about Socrates and Aristotle, and for a second I just pause and I'm like, I can't, like, you're, you're, having, you're talking about Aristotle right now, James, like, who are you? Growing up, I grew up with a very abusive family. Um, by the, a young age of 14, I was addicted to drugs, um, many of which my own father was giving me. You know, to finally being 17 years old, and by that time I had gone in and out of jail for quite some time, inside the juvenile hall, everybody gave up on me. They said, forget about him, he's never going to change. And the one thing that changed my life was that someone loved me. You know, something so simple yet so powerful. I get asked by people all across the country, like, what is, if you only had one thing to say to a kid, what would it be? And I, and I would say, I wouldn't, I would show up. I'd make sure that they have my card, that they can write me, that they can call me. Um, because sometimes showing up is what really reaches them. Like, for me, it was just someone was there until I finally realized that they cared about me. Our system is failing right now. And we have a 70% recidivism rate, 60 to 70%. That's a huge failure rate. You know, as much as this is about redemption and hope and you know, believing that people deserve a second chance. This is about public safety, and that's what we're really focused on. I came home five years ago. You know, since that time, I came home and I was just really focused on showing other people that you can achieve a better life, you know. Primarily even my older brother, who was still incarcerated at this time. And I just really wanted to give him a chance and give him inspiration to realize that we deserve something better and that he could change his life. Um, and in, in that process, I did two years in community college, and. I was still trying to figure out which university I wanted to go to and I just woke up one day and I was like, UCLA. And I can't tell you why, I can't tell you, I just, it was in my heart, like I just felt like I needed to be there. And I, you know, became fairly successful and started speaking across the country and got invited to the White House several times. And I remember, you know, saying in front of President Obama that I was going to be going to UCLA before I had even applied. So at that time I realized like, I have to make this happen. I just put all my focus on it and really wanted to manifest that reality.